Kim Foy is also under attack. The wild dolphin she was feeding off the coast of Florida has turned on her. She struggles to stay above the water. Kim's husband, Ned, jumps into action, literally. I jumped right over where I last saw the dolphin, and I felt my foot hit something hard. So I believe I landed on his snout. The animal releases Kim. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I really did. I, I feel like if I didn't have the diving experience that I had, I think the dolphin probably would have drowned me. I really do. I think he would have just kept me under there. Kim is beaten and bloodied, in urgent need of medical attention, but alive. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, a sunbather isn't so lucky. Two men in the water encounter a dolphin, and it becomes agitated. The marine mammal rams both men, hitting Zhao Marrera hard in the stomach. Zhao will die of internal injuries later that night. A human killed by a dolphin. For people who perceive dolphins as sweet and intelligent, it seems incomprehensible. They don't attack humans for food, but when provoked, they respond. Take the incident in Brazil. It's discovered that Zhao isn't quite as innocent as he first appears. He and his companion have been drinking heavily. They hit the dolphin and try to ride it. They pour beer in its blowhole and shove in a popsicle stick, obstructing the mammal's ability to breathe. The tormented dolphin fights aggression with aggression. The dolphin that attacked Kim Foy may also have been provoked. There was a, a boat that was across from us with two young guys. And apparently these guys didn't have any sardines, but what they kept doing was tapping their boat and calling them over. And when the dolphin would get there, they would tease the dolphin. He got angry, and you couldn't blame him. I would get angry, too. Frustrated, the dolphin attacks the one human in the water, Kim. 